I agree with the governor, but I think also if you treat the arts the same way, artists the same way as doctors had to learn. Many doctors didn't know how to run a business. They just served the patients. If you paid me, they didn't keep their books. But they set up organizations that could help them deal with that, not asking them to be business people, but they had people who did it for them. And I think that's where the joint uh, communications could be, is to set up mechanisms by which artists can also market. They also don't have to worry about, do I know how to run the business? Because a lot of painters, for example, they want somebody to do a see their painting and buy it off the wall. Well, how do you know that it's even there? And then what is really a good price structure? Because if you look at some paintings sometimes, you look at them and you say, my God, it can't be worth that much. Uh, and they only sell maybe one or two out of a year sometimes. So I think if we could look at that as a model uh, so that you connect the two, but somebody would be the middleman between the two communities. I just want to say something briefly, and I would broaden it beyond uh, just artists. I, the government's been very involved with financial literacy, and I think that's of vital uh, importance uh, to this country. I think, and I've been involved with education uh, in Washington. I won't be involved with that too much longer. Uh, but I, I believe that uh, we do need need to teach the basics of economics and financial literacy to a lot of people, not just to artists, uh, but to a lot of people, including artists, uh, to make sure that people understand what they're getting into, what they're dealing with. Uh, both at home, I think a lot of the mortgage foreclosure issues we read about, uh, as well as in, in business, uh, is vitally important. I think that's got to be a, a key part uh, of how we look at education, not only in Delaware, but across across this country. W one other point. We, we are uh, generally do our best when we listen well. And so we've done a couple of things uh, at the state level in the last uh, year and a half. First of all, we heard over and over again, uh, from small businesses, perhaps including artists, um, about the difficulty that they've had accessing credit. And so Alan uh, and his team came up with a program called uh, Small Business Lift, Limited Investment for Financial Traction, which has helped so far 47 businesses. They employ 600 people. In fact, the Archer Group, I believe, is one of the companies that's benefited from that and has enabled them to expand. Um, so that's one program that already exists as a result of what we've heard in the community. The second is I recently signed uh, a law called our business finders fee. And this is applicable to any of you who have a business. If you're able to persuade another business to come to Delaware and to create at least three jobs, you and they, each of you, will get a $500 per person tax credit uh, for every new job that they create. And again, this is an idea that came from listening carefully to what businesses uh, throughout the state had to say, something else that Alan uh, came up with. And finally, you know, we don't always have a, a, the opportunity to stand around in sessions like this, but to the extent that you have an, uh, additional ideas after this morning uh, that you want to uh, get to us, we've got a website. It's ideas.delaware.gov, ideas.delaware.gov, recognizing that uh, we don't have a monopoly on good ideas, and we're always looking uh, for folks like you. And I think, that, you know, just even, even this idea of tying in financial literacy Business literacy with uh, with the arts community is a very good one. Time for another question. Well, what, one more. One more. Okay, thirty seconds. Um, getting some feedback here. Um, my name is Deb Pace, and um, I'm developing a small business. And one of the questions that has come up uh, several times is about sustainability. Um, we know the percentages of small businesses that succeed or fail in the first five years. And I'm just wondering what programs are out there or are under development um, that might help the small business owner in those first five years. Well, I mean, going back to a lot of our earlier answers, Deb, if, if we could, I mean, I just, I just think we need to have a broader knowledge of what it takes uh, to run a business. Uh, I mean, people uh, don't understand uh, sometimes uh, the, the the cost of business, they understand uh, interest rates uh, and a variety of things uh, that need to be done, uh, and I think it's vitally important that we do that. Uh, I think I believe the Small Business Administration uh, in this country actually does a, a pretty positive job in that area. Uh, I believe that Allen and the Delaware Development Office uh, do a good job as well, and people need to listen uh, to them. Uh, they also perhaps should reach out to our, our various colleges, some of which are right here in the city of Wilmington, and take courses. Or, or whatever it may be, to make sure they understand uh, e exactly, uh, you know, what uh, needs to be done. Uh, there are, you know, a, a series of, of programs out there at, at the various state and government levels that, that could help 
uh, but I believe that we need to, uh, a, a, as a whole, uh, make sure that the people are prepared. And I think our banking institutions need to do that as, as well. They need to make sure if somebody's going to borrow fifty thousand dollars to start a business, uh, e exactly what that entails, what the revenues uh, would would be, or or whatever uh, it may be. I mean, most people have a product and an idea, uh, and or an idea, and and they think they can start a business and make a, a lot of money, and and that's fine if you're you know, uh, W.L. Gore or somebody of that nature. Uh, but for most of us, uh, it, it, it's not that, that simple. We need to make absolutely sure that we're prepared going into it. I apologize. I've got to take off. I'm going to the funeral for, uh, probably you're going to the same place, to the funeral for uh, Dr. Souls. So I very much appreciate uh, what you guys are doing here. I think it's fantastic, and we look forward to continuing to work with you. Um, and uh, please remember, for all of you who are connected in some fashion to social media, We've got Facebook, we've got Twitter, we try to get a lot of good stuff out there. Follow us or whatever, friend us, whatever it is you do. And uh, thanks again for all you're doing.